This is how you can apply different colors to the same text box. Uh, let me show you what it looks like first, and then I'm going to go into details on how you can actually do it real quick. Um, so I do have this word pay exactly just like your example, and I simply just added a bottom animation, and I made it by letters. So when I press here, go into the preset settings, you can see that I have a bottom animation, and then I have it set to forward in letters. So when we go back to the very beginning of our timeline, we press play, this is how it should look like, right? And of course, you can change the colors to whatever colors you want. You can make these solid colors. You can make them gradient colors. It's really up to you how you want to do it. But the way how to do this is very simple. So first of all, what you want to do is um, grab. So I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. So let's go into a blank screen uh, right here. And then all we got to do is simply grab a text box. We're going to edit this text and say, hey, right? I want to make sure that it's all capped just like that. Now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger like this right there. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a rectangle shape. I'm going to decrease its uh, opacity just for now so I can resize it uh, right here and drag it here. Notice here that the letters are pretty close to each other. So what we want to do at this point is we go into the text editor, go under settings, and then we want to increase the letter spacing a little more. So there's you know some kind of a distance between each letter. Um, just so we can apply the different um, different colors, right? So now I can easily just have this color, you know, this one, for example, that's going to be in blue. Uh, so we can go back into adjusting the opacity, making it 100% like this. And then I'm going to make a duplicate of the same uh, rectangle. So I'm going to hit Control D so I can make another duplicate and just drag it above uh, the letter A. And then I want to scale it up just a little bit more like this. I'm going to change this color to uh, red right here. Okay, and then I'm going to make another duplicate for my rectangle so that it covers the letter Y. And then from there, I could just drag it all the way to cover the letter Y right here. And then I can change this color to, you know, uh, green. And again, you are free to change, you know, the colors to anything you want. It could be a solid color. It could be gradient, whatever you want, right? And then when done, uh, this is what you want to do. You're going to have to select all the rectangle shapes that you created and then you want to group them up. So you can either do that by hit the control G or simply right click and then group these guys together. And then this is our text, right? So all we gotta do now is simply select the text layer along with the group that we created, right click, mask these guys and voila. Now, if you try to animate this text box, uh, you can simply just go under settings, uh, on the right panel, I'm sorry, go into motion. Let's do, um, let's do, position, let's do uh, right, for example, and then we can do it by letters, and there it is. Now I can, because it's coming in from the uh, from the left side, then I just got to change the way how it, um, it does the animation. So instead of just doing it by um, letters, then I'm going to have just to do it by um, paragraph, as a paragraph right there. So it could just slide in like that. But if it slide in from the top right so i could just press on top and i could just do letters so it's going to slide in from the bottom to where it is so right there you go press play there you go we have three different colors of our text if we change this to you know bottom instead do the same thing we choose letters go back from the beginning and there you go right this is how simple you can uh, create something like that i uh, hope you've learned something thank you for watching and i look forward to see what you'll create